There is Gary Vaynerchuk, man, oh man, social media sensation slash expert. I mean, he started basically doing YouTube clips of his parents' uh, wine store, and the next thing you know, it went from a, a $3 million business to like a $60 million business by just sitting in front of the camera and talking about wine. And that's just the wine part. Now he's into a lot of other stuff. Again, social media expert Gary Vaynerchuk, his new book, I believe this is his second or third, perhaps? Fourth. Fourth. Pardon, don't aim moi. Bam. Ask Gary V. One entrepreneur's take on leadership, social media, and self-awareness. If you've got questions, this is the guy to ask. Gary, welcome back to Good Day. Congratulations on uh, everything. Thank you, guys. Great skit, by the way. Did you like it? I was it? laughing. You have real, you have real comedic skills. Uh, he, he, he really he real he should go comedic, late night. He has real late, comedic skills. I know. Let's it's talk so about, funny Rosanna forgot to laugh yeah. half the time. <laughs> well, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, <laughs> as you know much comedians. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about Greg. Yes. Because he was on social media. Yes. He claims he lost his password. Yes. What and has not what? been on for a year or you're, so. Okay. You're crushing it, by the way. Yeah. Let's talk, Rosetta well, is crushing, crushing it. it. Thank Facebook you. Facebook Live. I mean, on your Twitter, Snapchat. But I don't understand you are Snapchat. You're a 2016 executor. But I don't know. I, I, I post on Snapchat. You, I don't understand why that is good for my brand. Why is Twitter and Facebook good for your brand? Because I feel like I can interact no, easily. No, no, no. People are, you can interact on Snapchat. People are consuming, whether it's television, whether it's a newspaper, whether it's a book, whether it's Snapchat or Twitter. It's about communication and consumption. Gary, what's the goal of this? What do you want? What do you want? people to come away with? You know, very honestly, I want the people that are watching at home right now that, you know, everybody's got an idea. They always wanted to make that knitting sweater business, or I make the best jam in Queens and everybody tells me to start it. I made a blueprint, not only tactically, like here's what you do on a website and YouTube and Twitter, but psychologically. Like, what do you want in your life? Like, like this is one at bat. This is it. Mm. And so I really talk about self-awareness, empathy, gratitude, a lot of the e, what I call EQ, Greg. Self-awareness, empathy, gratitude, particularly the empathy. That does not seem to be what social media, well, it's not what it's I, known yeah. for. I, you're right. It's not what it's known for. But I'll tell you right now, the reason I amassed over a million Twitter followers and I've had all these great things have been much more about listening than talking. I use my empathy to understand what the other person's thinking and try to reverse engineer what they're thinking, which actually helps me in sales and communication. Can you have a company? right now that does not do any social social media and survive 100% no problem however if that company is doing three million dollars a year with social media it could be doing five million dollars a year so it's not about are you dead if you don't do it it's why would you leave money on the table okay explain most people are not selling stuff yeah. online though most people are not they just, you're right. What, what, where is but, the space but, for them in this? A, a huge space. What about people that are trying to raise money for the PTA? What about people that care about the local mayor? What about people that want to find their lost kitten? Guys, this is modern day communication. This is the newspaper, the radio, and the television. It just happens to happen in this device, which is the number one device in the world now. That we all walk around that with. That we all walk around like this on. Okay. And that's that. All right, Gary, explain yes. the different mediums to me. Yes. Very short, succinct, yes. but I want to know. We should just say that you're an investor in Snapchat. Yes. And and, and Twitter and Facebook. Okay. I mean, I've invested okay. my whole career. Okay. In this. Okay. So uh, I want to buy the New York Jets, guys. That's your goal, right? Yes. You're going right. to make so, it happen. So, what so, is man. the difference between Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Snapchat? They're all very different, but all of them are the same in one way, except for Snapchat. Facebook. Twitter, Instagram, all do streams, right? Everybody who's watching knows now that's what they do, right? On the phone, you look at the picture and you stream. You can comment and share. Snapchat's a totally different language, which is why so many people are confused with it, but the younger demo loves it, right? It's, it's recording, it's swiping left and right. It's a whole different game, um, but the main thing that they're all doing is pictures and videos to communicate something, and then the person on the other side has the ability to interact with it. So anybody yes. who thinks that uh, social media isn't important, take a look at Donald Trump. I've heard people say his Twitter account, it's better for him than owning a newspaper. He has that much influence with his Twitter account. Guys, guys, 
I, there are there are countless people right now on Instagram that are selling sports gear, juices, vitamins. Like it, this is real life. I want to ask you about the mm. danger of it, though. And I showed this picture earlier, yes. and I'd love to get your take. I, I yes. recognize this is important, but yes. here we have two people on their wedding day. Okay, take Looking a look at the Ken. Yep. They're each looking at their phones yes. on the biggest day of their lives. Yes. They are heads down. Can I ask you a question? Everybody seems to be heads down, checked out, empathizing. It seems to be the last thing they're doing with each other in person. No, what's happening is that same couple took a moment 20 years ago to not talk to each other. They just didn't look at their phone. What if they're texting with their grandmother who's in Florida and couldn't be at the wedding? What if Fred, they, let me ask what, you a question. Gary, what, what if, if they if are they, looking at how many people like their wedding photo? That's the thing I'm worried then about. Then that's what they wanted to do. What this phone has done has exposed what we actually want to do instead of it being in our head. Hmm. It seems uh -huh. like what, we, what bit, about right, right. Okay. okay. So listen, everybody is into this. Obviously, there's a need for this. You, yes. you are the expert. You do YouTube series. You you have this Ask Gary V on a regular basis, on right? On YouTube, yes. On YouTube, and so what are the the biggest questions? What are the misconceptions that people come to you? I with? think the biggest thing that's. I mean, this is. I'm going to go into a Zen place. I think the biggest issue in the world is that a lot of people's parents, unlike. Tamara and Sasha Vaynerchuk, who did it for me, don't instill confidence in their children, and then those kids don't think they can do it. I'm not joking. Most people, when they ask me a question, are asking me to give them encouragement to go for it because their parents didn't build their self-esteem. Okay, that's a little bit respectfully outside your no, it's not. field of expertise. I totally disagree. I mean, look, I mean, I, but you're like, very, come on, like, it's like an opinion. That, I have one, you have one. Well, I mean, listen, that's fine. That's your opinion. Now I'm going to set you straight. Okay. <laughs> I'm, Gary. I'm, I'm a DNF student. I'm not that smart. I've written more books than I've read. However, my emotional intelligence has been the backbone of building what is about to be a billion dollar empire, no, my friend. Gary, I am so on your not, side. You're gonna, I, like, I, I mean, I, well, I don't know if the key to all this well, is listen. a lack of confidence. <laughs> and this forum, this format seems to be undermining kids everywhere. I mean, it's you all about, about you, the bullying on social you know media. Teenagers, you know who you are? what you look like you know is now doing? everything. Listen, I love you. And you know I love you. We Gary, we got plenty of time. So you don't so, like, we're, we're, that's fine. Yeah. I love you on this. But look, you're basically the same dad from 40 years ago that said Elvis shaking his hips was going to be the devil. You're the same dad yeah. that when I was growing up as a kid said video games were going to ruin all of us because we were playing Zelda all day. Uh, you know, I think but there's listen, something different. Excuse me. So yeah. you're like, there's something different going on now. I understand what you're saying, but we have, if you look at it, if you think about it, we've plateaued culturally and technologically over based, the past 10 on, years. Based on whose opinion? Ba based well, on, no, no, no. A, lot no, no. Of, a lot of relationship people, a lot of people are concerned that children do not know how to socialize, that everything is Rosanna, done do you know here. that the average 14-year-old girl in polling now claims to have 4.1 best friends and only a decade ago had 1.1 because now they have friends on Twitch and Snapchat and all these other places because kids 20 years ago, if they got unlucky and got picked on at school, had no outlet. Yeah, no, actually, they could go home. Now the bully follows you home with all these apps. Let me Being ask you a question. Yeah, sure. This is evolution. There's always going to be something in every society that is going to bring us down. Either you're a pessimist or an optimist on these issues. I bet on humans because we've figured out a way to survive. Gary, guess what? You know yes, what? Uh, societies aren't always moving forward. Sometimes they take major steps back. Technologically, I said, uh, you, in 1927, we flew to Europe. Lindbergh did, by himself. 42 years later, we flew a 747 for the first time, and we went to the moon. 42 years after that, what do we have? Slightly bigger jets, slightly more fuel-efficient jets. We, we've poured money into NASA, which is a government. We can't, form. We can't even totally go to dis space anymore. I, I disagree. If you look at what happened, we made it government-owned, which is why we slowed down. Now you have independent people like Bezos and Branson, and we're going to be flying all over the place. I know. All right. Low you orbit. both have very good points. No, actually, I uh, like uh, Gary. Uh, I, <laughs> now I, I, the two I, of I, you. I didn't kiss and make up. <laughs> kiss and no, make no, up. We're, not, we're, we're not, not, not at odds. We're not at odds. Look, we need a special series. I want a one-hour series on this. I want a okay. one-hour series on this. All right, the bottom line is this. Ask Gary V. okay? <laughs> this guy's got to get on social media. And I am, no, no. actually. He has to do what's right for him. And that's the point here, right? Everybody has opinions. We're de de deciding uh -huh. on different things. But people have to do what they want to do. Gary V. it's all in the new book. Got to buy it. Ask Gary V. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Love that you. was fun. Thank you. Special we'll be right series. back. We need a series. <laughs> no, I think we could. I wasn't. You two could do a YouTube show.